stitches. So we're gonna use skinless, boneless thighs, brioche bread, you can use your own, but they have a cheaper version of this at Walmart if you don't wanna pay all this. Um, these are gonna be our toppings. I need some pepper jack cheese. We got some baby arugula and spinach, and then flour. We're gonna use the pickle juice, hot sauce, and I got this chipotle mayonnaise from Tom Thumb, I think it was. And then these are our seasonings. Everything will be in the description box. And hot sauce, oh, and buttermilk. Let's get cooking. All right, so we are gonna thin these out. So I'm just gonna put a couple in here. If you have one of those meat tenderizers or I forget what it's called, like the mallets, then use that, but I don't. So I'm just gonna use this. After we do that, we're gonna add them all back into the bowl and then we're gonna season. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Chicken flavor bouillon. Tony's. Smoked paprika. Oh, this is, I'm sorry, cayenne pe pepper. <coughs> and then smoked paprika. <coughs> that got right in my nose. All right, you're just gonna massage the seasoning in here. And I'm gonna add some more because it's not good enough for me. Or maybe I can just sop it up. All right, so we're gonna also season the same thing we season this chicken with, our flour with. So we're gonna add buttermilk, just enough to cover. Oh, a little bit of pickle juice. sauce. I'm going to say a half a cup. Kind of like a half a cup, yeah. We're going to sit this in the refrigerator while we prep um, our oil and uh, onions and tomatoes. All right, so this is the flour. Like I said, we are going to season it with the same seasoning that we um, initially did the chicken with. So I don't really have no measurements. I just kind of look at it to see. And that feels like enough. And that's probably like a cup and a half. So here we go. I'm gonna use this garlic powder. I kind of feel like I should put all of that in there. Onion powder. Tony's. Chicken flavor bouillon. I'm already 
you about to sneeze again. Smoke. <coughs> Smoke paprika. <coughs> Ooh, if you ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. That's what they said. Then we just gonna put a little bit of this cayenne pepper. I like to see the seasoning in my flour. That's how I know it's good. So we're gonna take the chicken thighs and place them in here. I'm only gonna do two at a time. I don't wanna overcrowd my bag. Shake it. And I forgot a little pan to put these on because I want them to sit for a bit. So hold on. You were putting the chicken in there. Now we're going to get started on frying our chicken. So you want them to be fried on both sides before taking them out. And just keep in mind, because these are thinner slices, it's going to cook fast. But this is the colorization that you would like to see on both sides before removing it from the pan. And I, you know, sometimes I'm not 100% sure, so I'll take it and kind of like cut into it a little bit just to determine if it's fully cooked. our buns this is very much optional but it tastes a lot better so Once you're done frying your chicken, you are going to now build your sandwich. And you're going to see me speed past this because I don't want you guys to spend all this time watching me build this sandwich. But you're going to add your avocado. Make sure you put salt and pepper on it. Tomatoes, pepper jack cheese, so on and so forth. When this sandwich is complete, let me tell you, this is going to be one of the best chicken sandwiches you ever had. And bam, here goes Tam Bam's famous chicken sandwich. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Till next time.